הלכה סאז, חסה שיש בה שני פתחים ושני רוחות, צריך להדליק בשניהם. בפני החשד, somebody who has a courtyard, a house, which opens to two different sides, for example a corner house, so he has one side on this corner and one side on that corner, and he has people that pass from this side and have people that pass from this side. So you don't have the same people passing, you have different people. Some people pass only on the avenue, some people only pass on the street, on the, on the east. So in such a case, one should light in bulk. One should light on both sides. Maybe someone's going to be passing on the side that you didn't light. And they're going to see you didn't light the Nora over there. They're going to assume that you didn't light at all. Therefore, one should light in both entrances. However, you only make one beracha, being that again you have only one house, you have one hayyub. The hayyub is one. The only reason why you're lighting by the second is only hashad, is only so the people don't think that you didn't light. So therefore, again, one would have to light in both of them, but only make a beracha by one of them. Some say that Really today the Iqad is really for inside. Mainly it's made for the people that are inside the house, not for outside. Even if you have both sides again facing the Rishut Rabbim, you don't have to write by both of them, you can write only by one. So therefore, again, if one is only, wants to only light by one, he has the opinions that say, today you don't have to. Today you don't have to light by both. However, if you want to go with the other opinions, that you want to, you want to light by both, in order that they should have Pursumenisa on both sides, so you definitely can do it. It's not a suit, it's you could do it, maybe it's even recommended. However, one does not make a Biracha by both of them, he only makes a Biracha by one of them. Now, in regards to Bet I said we just spoke about again the Hayyub. So, normally, the, wherever there's a Hayyub, there's a mitzvah to make a Biracha. In the Bet Knesset, we know that really, however, the Hiddush is not that we could lie, of course, we could lie in the Bet Knesset. The Hiddush is that we even allowed to make a Biracha in the Bet Knesset, even though nobody is really Yotze with this mitzvah. With this lighting of the menorah, no one is yotze. However, still, the hiyuv is a hiyuv on the Bet Knesset, and therefore, hachamim will koveya them. We should make a beracha, even in the Bet Knesset, again, although, even though you're going to still have to light at home. Tomorrow, Bezat Hashem will discuss the halakha, whether a person can make sha'asarisim, sha'ayanu. Let's say it's the first night, and a person already lit in the Bet Knesset, and he wants to go home. You can make that leap, but what about the other bit I called? Is that the shim? We'll discuss it tomorrow. Not tomorrow.